Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome back to another wonderful episode of Timberbone. We're, we're in the middle of a drought. Things are uh, looking okay, I guess. Uh, we got plenty of water still, yeah. Look at that, look at that. Look at these huge tanks of water all full. We're full down here, which is great. I love to see it. We've got, got, got extract going. We've got food going. We've got chestnut and maple trees coming in finally. So that's coming along nicely. This is still taking a sweet time, but I think I have, well, I, I've rectified that for the most part. I, I put this in. So hopefully they built that really fast that we can move dynamite over here a little bit faster and then, you know, they can actually get that accomplished. We can get this done and that'll be awesome. We can get our super tree farm going. But that's not the goal for today. Today, we play with Sluice Gates. We're going to do it. You guys have been commenting that there are some super awesome features that we could play with the Sluice Gates and I want to try them, darn it. So today, we will do that. And it'll be glorious. That requires a lot of trees, too. So we're going to have to find some trees. We're going to have to find some ways to uh, acquire and then move said trees into the into the colony so we could actually do some things with them. Now, we've got enough blocks, metal blocks, to actually do the sluice gates that we want to do. The other problem is I don't know if we have enough explosives to do my other plan. I, I, I like my plan of running the river through here and then running it through here and then through here and then... Something like that. So I want to do that today as well. That means getting probably another explosive manufacturer online so we can actually get something like that rolling for the colony so that things can move a little bit faster. On top of that, I would like to continue filling these uh, storage containers up here so that we can start building our uh, bad water rig. Because we are running out of bad water, and I would like to have bad water to do explosives, to do extract. Because sooner rather than later, we're going to have to dip into timber bots. And timber bots require a lot of extract or a lot of their materials. So, we're going to do that today. We're going to do some sluice gates, build some down here, build a couple right here, come up here, tear the... Um, Tear the floodgates out and then put some loose gates in there and that will be our system so if i'm not mistaken i don't need to do like sluice gates here and then sluice gates here all i have to do is replace this these three right here at the bottom take out the um the floodgates place these three at the bottom with sluice gates and then if it's bad water they'll close this will this whole system will then flush out that way if it's good water then they'll stay open and they'll continue to flush out this way if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure that's how that works and uh yeah we'll we'll try it out we'll test it out we, we have plenty of time to test these things i would love to test them because well it's the new hotness for this update you know the sluice gates that on top of the overhanging aqueducts and everything like that. But that's going to take some time. Again, that's all material and workforce to actually accomplish that. And uh, we're not quite there yet. But we can do sluice gates. So, let's do that. Let's do that today. And that means we need to hit the play button. Because I'm tired of yapping. So, we're going to do that. Let these guys get to work. Do some fantastic things. We are a fairly settled colony at this point. We've got plenty of food. Plenty of water. Uh, plenty of decent type or different types of food the only thing that i could really do to make things better for them is just some more entertainment stuff like the dance hall or maybe the agora we can do the agora now since we do have extract so that that might go in at some point today but today's focus is the sluice gates which means coming over here and uh don't know if i want to demolish this yet because there is water back here that i would like to take advantage of there's not much in here uh we do have eight days left there really isn't much in here honestly so we'll pull that down see how much that leaves us make sure we don't go off the backside here so that would be bad that's a waste of water we want to keep all this green obviously because we don't want to lose any of our food that is growing down here see how deep this is well, if I get it, ah, ah. all right, about maybe an eighth or a quarter full. Okay. <laughs> With the 
with the uh, seven and a half days left of this bad tide, I don't, or not bad tide, this drought, I don't want to necessarily burn through all that because, well, that's about seven days is about how long this water should last here in this reservoir. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. I think what would be a good idea actually is to come over here and put sluice gates in front of this dam and then we can tear out the dam and that means that we can keep even more water in here than just the 0.6 that it currently holds because well it's a dam piece which does allow water to flow out the top end and that can be quite helpful it, it's gonna work basically the same as what we would do with floodgates just to keep more water in but that's not what we're at or what we want to do today we want to play the sluice gates uh, again the new hot we like new hot things right right all right Let's see here i think what we can do is we can reposition some things so we'll go ahead and put that in right here and probably put in another one right there go ahead and this one's going to be logs and this one's going to be metal blocks we'll set both of these to a pane and have them focus on that i don't know how they're doing on this actually over here that's in that's good we'll get some more explosives over here so these guys can not have to run nearly as far i want to get this done it's it's low on the priority list but it, it's still going to be nice we need that tree farm up and running they are getting this put in we need the logs and let's see sluice gates just to confirm do require oh okay not logs planks oh that's gonna be a problem oh we have 188 planks okay it it looked like we didn't have much because i have the huge um what was it called the the huge underground pile for all the planks so that's fine we'll be okay nothing else is really eating through the planks right now we do have a couple gear manufacturers but that's okay we do have four four beavers running around and doing nothing so what can we put them to doing Let's see here. That's not going to be moving. I think you guys are packed. You guys are packed. You guys are also packed. And you are as well. Don't necessarily want to open up more positions because this is going to... Well, it's the cycle, right? The cycle that constantly gets us... Uh, don't need a lumberjack flag. I do have these two positions that I need to start opening up. And I can do that now since these are about to pop, so that'll be good. This is still another 10-ish days away from actually producing any. I thank you in the comment section. You did, uh, did remind me that I need to put in a, uh, a wonderful piece of storage for all of our maple syrup. So we'll put a large storage here for maple syrup and then once we uh oh, we could go ahead and toss in another storage down here for maple syrup as well and that will be good just make sure i click the right button there i did sweet so that will be helpful that means that we can store maple syrup massive quantities up there and then they can transfer it down here for our one bakery that should be doing maple pastries which this guy's not doing anything because i don't have any actual maple syrup yet which is going to take another six days for that to happen so we'll let that continue on working in the past uh, working in the background and i guess with our additional five beavers that we do have floating around we can throw up some more scavenger flags for them so that they can come up here and keep carrying into that huge pile of ruins there and i guess i can unpause that and i think there was another so they already got these nearly full let's go so that should cover down the four or at least four of those and i need another one for logs actually up here we're gonna have to build levees on top of all that so let's do that please click thank you give that max priority boost let's hit the obtain button so that, that can happen <laughs> you're already done with that one tree that was there okay throw in an additional right here and can you reach everything you can minus those two back there That's okay make sure all this is checked from clearing and bada bing bada boom all right cool that guy can take care of all that it's just a bunch of birch trees so that should go pretty fast for 
them no issues sweet now log did they build this already they did prioritize by haulers get the logs in here as soon as possible because that would be good and then let's see let's check on this explosives it's almost done next so we need two more explosives we're out of bad water we're out of here okay so that's not good that is 28 metal blocks that's 35 planks and that's 77 gears i believe in here the bad water rig 400 200 150. we're we're a little shy of that right yeah 400 gears we've got 200 basically 200 sparkly planks we got 50. i do need to turn this back okay sparkly planks go uh, let's prioritize you by holler so somebody can come help you out as necessary we do have a lot of paper we do have a lot of paper i remember back in the day when explosives were made from paper update four anyone shout out to anybody who played update four no no just me okay never mind and we're moving on sweet we have logs up here we have planks and metal blocks already in let's go ahead and dump all that water out of here don't really think that was necessary let's uh let's do it we'll commit i don't know if this is the smart maneuver but we did it anyway give me that button so i can click that button and all right wait let's go ahead and click this sluice gate so i need that facing that way right and then on top of that we need to put levees like this i think that's how that works right and then in here close above downstream depth 1.5 see this is this is where things are going to get confusing so obviously synchronized with adjacent sluice gates that's not too complicated obviously all three of those are going to work in, in tandem with each other and then we've got close above downstream depth so is this this is downstream right or is this downstream so is this upstream uh, this is upstream. So close above. Hmm. Hmm. Change that to logs. That's all we're doing now. Oh, they. Yeah, I that. Well, they'll they'll have to get to it somehow. Uh, I need to figure out how that works. Close, close, close above dash. I see. This is what happens when I get new things, guys. It takes me a second to actually try to figure out how to, how to brain ball. So close above contamination. That makes sense. Close below contamination. So we want to close this above contamination. Rate of one percent. So that that should close this system if the contamination reaches one percent and that will in theory push all the bad water here off this way and then close above downstream depth of uh zero right mm, i don't know if that's what we want it to do well, we'll we'll see what happens there. Uh, make sure I have that selected appropriately. Then, close below contamination. I don't think I want that. I don't want that selected. I think that's how that works. Okay. Well, um, well that we'll let them continue working on that. They should be able to come and pick up these logs really fast and then finish the rest of these levees. They've got less than a day left. But it's it's going to be a temperate cycle rocking and rolling, so we'll let that fly however that goes. And then we'll check on this down here. This is all full of water oh, now. That's not good. Crap. I... Uh, grrr. I can't believe I did that again. I can believe I did that again, but I again, I can't believe that I did that again. 
why I can't have nice things. Okay, so I, I told, I yelled at myself for how to fix this in my last video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to put that in now. So in well-being, we have the Lido. And with the Lido, it gives us a nice little notification that, Hey, Cuber, you're out of water. Put some water in here, okay? So if we have these in, and I actually pay attention to these little uh, pop-ups when they pop up, you know, like a, a rational human being would do, that means that, you know, we could pay attention and, and rectify things as they occur instead of letting it be forgotten for a prolonged period of time and uh well all of my foodstuffs go to waste which nobody likes to see your foodstuffs go to waste we do have a deficit in bodies though see this is what i knew was going to happen the cycle was going to kick us in the teeth so we're going to pause a few of these we can have a few more haulers that should keep us around the 13 hauler mark which is totally feasible totally allowable i am happy about that now planks are doing good metal blocks are still doing good how is this coming along still nothing in here nothing in here and still nothing in here okay. nothing else is consuming the gears right now right yeah so maybe a few more gear manufacturers to help speed things along gear workshops not manufacturers we're on three just to move those along a little bit faster um we're at, we are running out of we are running out of all the things okay so we need bad water get that going that's so all of our bad 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 bad, bad water turned into extract is not good and we also wanted to throw in an additional explosives manufacturer explosives factory we'll throw that in We're gonna eat through our gears and our metal blocks but it's it's all part of the plan not really the explosives are definitely not part of the plan to get the uh the bad water rig into place but the, the gears are that's that's part of the plan right should work all right, so that's not moving how I thought it was going to move. Okay, so now it's going that way. Okay. Hmm. So this will close. Will this ever close? Would this close if... Okay, so this is, this is, I think I'm figuring it out, maybe. Well, that is, so with this system in place, though, we're not going to be able to store any water in here, right? Unless I put another system right here. Then once this side hits two depth or a depth two, then that means that this side would stop, and then we could store water on this side. I think that's how that works. Am I am I interpreting that correctly? So downstream depth is 0.68. Yeah. Okay. So that's this side, right? Right. I know English is supposed to be simple, but apparently I can't English today. So that's on me. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello. Um, yeah. Oop. That's not good. I need water in here. Water, please. Water, please. All right, water's going in there. That's good. Water's coming down here still. I can't believe I let all that water get wasted for that for a long period of time. Uh, it's fine. We still have 2.7k units of water. It's totally fine. We didn't almost run into a problem. No. Yeah, we almost did run into a problem. <laughs> Everything's fine, guys. Okay, so that would be good down here. 
Right? That would make sense. But I need a way for... It to... Hmm. It, it can't measure down here, right? It, all, all this would say is that the downstream depth is zero at all times because there's never water right here so i don't know if the sluice gate here would work maybe it would work or i could just pull this forward into this uh portion right here and store a little bit more water maybe that's what i need to do yeah I come down here and then build the levee system up and over this way and then over. Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. Okay, so we'll do that. We're out of logs, though. Holy moly. Okay, well, we have a bunch of logs over here. We're out of beavers. Oh, oh my goodness. Where'd all the beavers go? Where'd they all go, guys? It's not good. <laughs> we have 17 positions unavailable or unfilled. That's pretty much all of our haulers. Okay, wait, why, 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 why? Nothing to do with in range. You're paused. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your service. We're done with you. Go elsewhere. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, that's completely empty. That's nearly completely empty. Water's moving again, so that's good. We need... What are they carrying the... Logs are getting torn up. Okay, is this done yet? I need that finished. Well, we have four injuries, too. That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Okay, how is this coming along? Still nothing much in there. Mm, how are we doing on scrap metal? We're fine on scrap metal for now, so we can save these three positions for a little bit while we eat through what's left of this. That'll give us 156-ish planks, so that's nothing too crazy okay now it's finally full we can let's water through here we have a bad tide approaching so this is gonna be interesting need you to stop flooding please that would be great and now now stop it stop it bad water get back in your hole there you go there you go good job you did you did the thing beautiful um now we get to test this system out really need an easier way to grab this so close above contamination of one percent that should close it the moment contamination reaches one percent there and then it'll fill in and then go this way theoretically that's how that should work um this side we're gonna have to manually close again which is fine uh, we'll leave that like it is and then continue working to try to figure out how to get more lumber and more beavers again apparently because we have a bunch of kits running around and not they're not they're not being productive members of society this is fine That'll go in, we'll blast that out. That'll give us access point down here. So I'm going to tell them to not plant this anymore right here and right there. And then we'll put some stairs in right here. And that'll be it. How far along are these? Nowhere near being nowhere near done. Ooh, that's cool. That went boom. And now we can actually grab this. Like that side to that side. And then grab that there. Boom. Beautiful. All right. Point or 1.3 days left until the beginning of this mix. Bad tide next. Well, that means we can't do the rest of the sluices. That sucks. We could do, well, we can't do the sluice gates down here. We just need the lumber, which means I need this to get going. So that means slow things down. Go ahead. We'll go into the cinematic shot here in a second. Pause. Is I like doing explosions. You know, I'm I'm a glutton for a good explosion, as anybody is. We'll hit that button and then let's go. Three, two, one. Explosion! 
Thank you, Megami. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. look at that. Nice, clean little pocket for us to fill with water and do great things with. Wait, so let's speed things back up. We've got one day left until things hit the fan and we, everything's going to break. Go ahead and put a fluid dump right there and then put our food or fish or aquatic farmhouse in right here. That should cover down. That side, no, not, not in there. Come on, game. Why you gotta do that? To me? Put the aquatic farmhouse right there. Thank you. Uh, then I need stairs into here. We could put a few more Lido's in here. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Hmm. Do I want to do that? Probably not. Pull this up just a smidge more so we can store a little bit more water in here. Because, you know, reasons. Reasons? How does this come along? So that is full of chestnuts. That is... I can turn this on. There we go. That means we'll start acquiring some maple syrup. It's going to be great. They did finish building that maple or that tank. That's good. We can unpause this. We can start getting some grilled chestnuts. Things are looking good. Construction lacks materials. I am aware of that. You're only missing logs. Well, we're all missing logs. Anyway, cool. Um, don't forget the pause button, me. Pausing. Pulling that up. Now we monitor this situation. See what happens. So, this should tell us contamination. Okay. As soon as that hit 0.1%, it closed. Good. Now it's filling up in here. Good. All right. It, it's working as advertised. We did it. We got our first sluice gate in. Let's freaking go. So now this is no longer... I, I no longer have to monitor this side, right? And then as soon as the, the bad water or the contamination level hits, you guys know. Unnecessary to fill up. As soon as it drops below 1%, this should open back up. And then, oh, that might be a problem because this will have residual stuff sitting at the bottom. It's going to take a long time to clear out that residual bad water. Well, hmm... We might have to manually open them after the drought or the bad tides just to ensure that uh, they open. Otherwise, that residual is not going to actually clear out. So that's something for us to keep an eye on. We do have that in. They did put, put this in already, so we can grab that, throw that in. And then what we need is a storage place for some more water. And we need to throw in a couple that's terrible it's fine it'll work we have the gears and the planks to build that we do well we almost don't but that's fine uh let's see here now we need a forester to cover as much of this as really possible sweet and we'll do one on this side as well go ahead and throw in some Food warehouses, you know. Put one right here. You guys don't need to be in there right now. One right here. And then two tiny little water tanks. And then... You know, I should be doing this on the water. No, it's fine. And then two lumberjack flags. So... And then like that, not like that. Put that back right there. And then we'll put one of these well being tooth grindstones right here and right here. And then that will give us the opportunity to do some great things. Now, lumber. If you have some lumber here we could take advantage of, that'd be good. 
Got some back there. I don't care to try to play with that right now. Some over here. I need to get into this. Because that's a lot of lumber back here. And clear that out. Just, it's not doing anything for us, you know? It's not, it's not doing anything for us. Burrito Savior. Moya Shishin. Shichan. Moya Shichan? Is that how that says? Anyway. Um, you're out of spatter doc. Okay. We are making grilled chestnut. We have plenty of potatoes. We have six maple pastry. Wait a second. There's no way you're actually... You are pulling the maple syrup. Let's go. Not in here. They're using the maple syrup pretty much as soon as it, uh, as it gets pulled in. Uh, that's a supply line. That's a, a pain side. This is about to pop back up in here. All of these are full. Probably need additional storage for more chestnuts. Heck yeah, 21! Oh, 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 was that 22? Let's go! Happy beavers! Robots in... Oh, wait. Uh, disregard. Uh, da -da. Mm, nope. Here, Aura. There's planks and logs. We mm, we'll unlock it. Pause it, though. And in front of that, we can put down one of these, or a couple of these contemplation spots, you know? That'd be cool. So, run like that, and like that, and then... On this side, I don't know why I'm distracted by this, but I am, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Gotta make something look semi-decent every once in a while, guys. Everything can't be all gloom and doom for the beavers, okay? Can't all be gloom and doom. Well, that looks pretty nice. We'll go with that. That'll be good. We'll let that run. 13, or sorry, 11.2 days of bad tide remaining. This is all poop water. That's so gross looking. Nobody wants to play in that. Water's doing decent on this side. How, I, hmm. I put a, oh, I know what I was doing. Do I have the logs now? I do have the logs now. So, blue skates. Right here. I think that's a tad bit excessive. I think it's a tad bit excessive, but... I don't think that'd be bad. I mean, that's the same height. Go ahead and pull this up. Do something like this. Because we want to get to this height. Like so. Right? Then we can put in some stairs down into here. And that will give them access to all of that. That should be what we need, right? We just need more logs. Let's get some foodstuffs in here for these guys so that they can get to work a little bit faster. Bread, why not? We have one spare position open. This is not filling in nearly as fast as I think it should. We might throw in an additional fluid dump that might help things move along a little bit faster. But that's fine. This is all taking its time because we're out of lumber. Good. Actually, so we've got a couple spare beavers. And throw that in there. Make sure that all this is set to cut down. And I guess let's unpause this one real quick. And Donnie can tear that one tree that isn't marked for cutting out. That'll give us eight more logs. That'll be helpful. Uh, let's see. Can I put a stair? No. Put down here and do the same over here. And... 
No, not there. Come on, game. Don't fight me. I just need you to work. Now, that covers a fair portion of that. Not too bad. Yeah. So we'll get down into there, and then that will give us some lumber to play with. Well, while we're slowly building up our stuff. Hey, look at that. Everything's looking great. 23. Let's go. All right. These are built. That can go in. You guys can go ahead and start growing in. So we want primarily oak. I want a patch of pine so we can get pine resin as well. So that also means that I need to throw in a tapper shack in here like that so this will be pine right here this corner and everything else will be oak trees and probably i think just oak honestly i think that's all we really need this is just a lumber patch all all is that it dire right i think that's could have helped them out by actually repositioning some equipment over here. Hey, fine. This does not need to be prioritized pain anymore. That's a waste of collars moving about the cabin. Um, now we're down a beaver or two. Not what we want to see that they did clear that up, so that's cool. Now we can connect all that, make the pathing a little bit cleaner. It's still dog poopy over here, but that's fine. We'll get to it eventually. Oh, see, that's why we have that. Building needs water. So I can see when that's being bad. We can dump a little bit more water in here. Fill that back up. Now, we should, in theory, make it through the next eight days. With enough water in here, keep everything drained. Right? I think. I need more, I think I need to get some more storage for Spatterdock. Let's, uh, let's do a little cleanup action in here. Let's clean a little bit of this up. Same thing back in here. Bunch of gears right there. We have 500 gears. How is this? Is this full? That's nearly full. That's... So that's good. Prioritize the pain for all of these guys. We've got 146 sparkly planks, so that's good. We needed 200, so we should be able to build that pretty soon. That dropped because they've are, they're they're moving them. I found that out once. If they have them in hand, it doesn't count towards your actual storage or the amount of material that you have. So if they're transit or the haulers are moving stuff, then it, See that drop precip precipitously? That's the word I'm looking for. Probably what's happening. They're they're maneuvering material material around. Yo, don't don't freak out if you see that, guys. That's my job. I do the freaking out here. <laughs> okay, that will go in. That should be relatively simple. That'll be great. How is this coming along? They're already doing that side. You guys do not need to be here. There ain't nothing for you to chop down yet. No, Donnie, hush. Go elsewhere and do better things with your life. You can tell them to do more pine. Do the pine trees right here. And more pine. And more pine. Right there. I think I do need to put in an additional blue dump. That'll be good. Water fluid dump. Put that on this side. This can be set to obtain. We can prioritize that. Because that's what smart people do. Okay, grab this. Grab that around that side. That's probably why this wasn't filling as fast as I thought it should have. Because it wasn't prioritized by haulers. This guy was having to run all the way back here and all the way back here in order to acquire any of the water that they need. In order to actually effectuate the filling of the reservoir here but that's that's on me okay now we have that not full again oh we're happier than ever 24 let's go what happened um we have 
five injuries. That's no bueno. We got a bunch of beavers that are finally wet. They're excited. Okay, that's awesome. We got grilled chestnuts in finally. We got maple pastries in. They're going too. That's bringing their happiness up a lot. We need more campfire spots, more terraces. Uh, the Agora and the dance hall. We could get to that. That's relatively simple. We're just waiting on the material to do that. And the shrubs. Cool lanterns. Yeah, we'll have to throw a few more of those in. Everybody's got a roof over their head, which makes everybody happy. Throw in some more scarecrows. That shouldn't be too hard. And some more beaver statues. I'm loving it. I should throw in an additional farmer monument, but we don't have the logs in order to do so. I don't think that we're going to do that. Uh, I could, we could check out the detailer. I think that'd be a lot of fun to check out. Go ahead and throw one of those in. Oh, the mud pit. The mud pit. We could definitely do the mud pit, right? Since that doesn't require power. It requires sparkly planks and dirt. Yeah, that does require dirt. Uh, duh. Why did I think it did? What am I thinking? Okay. So in landscaping, dirt excavator, that requires 200 power. Hmm. Could put the excavator over here. Didn't help clean this up. Someone did throw it or mention in the comment section connecting these two sides to each other. Which I'm not opposed to that idea. But I like having this little backup reservoir of water available to me. Because if I if I connect these two, this pond, if you will, and this river, then when these guys is will they will inevitably drain this out if I connected those two, and then I wouldn't have any backup water to fill this in down here. Which is not what we want to see happening, right? We want to have water available to fill this side in. Because, well, we like to have water in here. Because we have Spatterdock and we have cattails in here. It's a great idea. I love the idea of it. I could do... We could blast it out and then put sluice gates in here. But even then, I don't think that would help us out at all. Um... I do have some explosives though, so I did want to do something along these lines. Throw that in right here, and then we're gonna put explosives in there. And then hit the obtain button. And probably come over here and hit this as fly, since that's all our explosives are sitting in that little uh storage container wow i know how to warehouse that that medium medium warehouse i know how to english i tell myself okay i need you guys to build that one metal blocks are right here so they shouldn't this shouldn't take them too long. They just need to actually build the staircase. And once they build the staircase, they can gain access to all this stuff that much faster. Which means it should go up a little bit faster. Will it happen? Probably not. But, you know, a guy could dream. A guy could dream, darn it. 25. Let's freaking go. What did we hit? I don't know what we hit. Probably a few more got some maple pastries in them. So that's good. What does this require... 60 planks. A bunch of logs. We don't have the logs. Okay, how is this coming along? That is coming along nicely. you love to see it. Okay, so I don't think this is necessary. Yeah, having water available means that this guy can actually fill this up. Okay, so you're good. You are... Now we can actually... We should have already started planting all this. What I should do, actually, is continue this path along here. And put some contamination barriers along the edge on this side so that we can take full advantage of a little bit more of this uh, piece of real estate. If that's all contaminated, then that's a, a large swath of my, my green area that I could play with. 
now we're seeing how far out we can actually keep things moving i'm thinking an additional forester is going to be required in order to keep up with well i don't know would it be required to keep up with everything probably not i don't know we'll we'll have to see there there's allegedly a uh, a way to determine the amount of workers required to maintain this a certain amount of um real estate for the forester and i don't know that off the top of my head and i'm not going to pretend like i do so uh we'll just we'll play it by ear if i need to put in more foresters more lumberjacks then we'll do that but for now we'll play with what we have I think that should be enough to keep things moving. We'll get them to put in those contamination barriers at some point. We'll just butt up against the edge of the, the contamination zone. That should be more than enough without any issues. Now, we can go ahead and plant some more. I think we're doing fine on... Cattails, right? Yeah, we're doing fine on cattail, flowers, and roots. I need more storage for all of the above. So that means I need more planks, I need more logs. Yeah, it's all coming back to the same problem, okay? All came coming back to the same problem. That needs to not be marked, and I think that's where those pine trees were set. Yes. Outer edge of that guy. So let's make sure. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, mark all this for coppage. That'll be Gucci. That will eventually, at some point in the near future, become a place that they can actually do the things. Okay, let's let some water in. I don't know if that will allow any of that through. I don't believe it did. But we need to play with these now. So the sluice gates are officially in. Go. Close above, upstream at... Point seven, uh, point eight? No. Point six. Yes. Well, it's about point six because this is a point six dam. So if this keeps water in and allows it to flow through up to point six, I think that's how that should work. I hope that's how that works. No, we'll get to try it here soon. Um, yeah, if this, if this side is at 0.6, then that'll close and that'll backfill. Do I want that though? Yes. No, maybe. I don't know. Hey, can you guys build this, please? That'll be great. Okay, that's going in. That's fine. This is... They are slowly putting all of that in. Somebody's finally over here tearing into these logs. So, in 30 days, we'll have a metric poop ton of lumber over here, which would be great. Now... And go ahead, as previously mentioned, I want to do more spatter dock because the spatter dock, I believe, is the most efficient way of making the um, what's it called? In here, in the refinery, spatter dock and water gets you a pretty. No, it's not the most efficient. Is it efficient? Two spatter dock plus two water get you 25 things of uh, juice for the timber bots and then two potatoes. So how long does it? It takes 12 days to get three. And it takes six days to get one. I think technically the spatter dock is the 
better option. We'll see. Okay, that's up. That's good. This is clearing out. That's good. Check on how this is doing. This will take a couple days to actually get to the point where it's clean water, which was anticipated. So we'll keep an eye on that here in a day and a half. This is almost clear, so we can open this up. It's probably the best position for this, honestly, because the, a lot of this just pushes out that way and very little of it stays contaminated in this little pocket. Very nice. Very good. It means we can open this up sooner rather than later because we like having clean water in here. But that's already in. So this only holds about 20 days worth of water in it at the current pumping rate that we have going into it. Hmm. here is that off center it is off center that's gonna bother me there you go you know you know <laughs> Okay, water is moving through. That's good. Uh, okay. Now that should continue to roll through. That should not stop. Right? It might be a halting situation because the water is going to get stuck on this side before it can keep running. Okay, it's still gone. We're good. We're, we're figuring stuff out. So that's that's fantastic. Very happy about this. Very, very happy about this. Now, we want these logs to grow up faster. There's still got 20 days left on it. 20 days as well. All of these are going to take a, a hot minute. Yeah. But all that's getting planted relatively quickly, so that's good. That guy should be able to tear all that down. That's already marked for cutting. This is coming in. I think I can tear this out officially. So go ahead and mark all this for cutting. And tell them to not replant any of this. I want to take this back. Want to take it back. Could not have done that, but it's okay. That, that was all carrots, I believe. Yes. And yeah, I can make all this food stuffs instead of forestry stuffs, and the same thing over here, honestly. Because once this is all taken care of, well, that's gonna that's that's not how that's supposed to work, guys. Why are we doing that? Um, um, hello, hey guys, it's, it's a little flood, it's fine, it'll, it'll be fine, don't worry about it, we're learning how the new stuff works, guys, don't, don't you worry your pretty little heads, okay, it, it's, it's working its way out working its way out okay okay nice and clear everything's good so what's the optimal here here then so it's in the open position right now because it's going to close when this hits hmm 1.0 which is never going to happen because we only have dams down here so that means so 
that'll close. Which is going to cause the flooding to happen. 0.7 means it's going to open up and it'll allow the water to flow through. So it's going to stay open until 0.7 happens. In which case it's going to close. Oh. It's going to open now because it's not at 0.7, which means all that's going to clear up. Okay, this is going to be a pain in the butt to try to figure out. Yeah. Um, uh, they are one way, right? So I can't force it to, if I were to put the sluice gates on this side, and this would be the upstream side. So if it, this is convoluted and complicated. My brain ball ain't prepared for this kind of stuff, but it's okay. I'm doing it. We're learning together, guys. I'd like to believe. Because it, it's opening and closing at random points. I'm just, I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna open it because I'm tired of this flooding. It's if it's flooding, then it's not actually my my trees aren't growing if the trees are or if they, everything's flooded. Okay, I need you to stop flooding, please. That'd be fantastic. Please and thank you. Peas and carrots. No? Okay. Thank you. Don't come again. Hmm. Another bad tide on the way. That means I can't play with this. Thanks. Not sure how this is supposed to work. Like, does this, do the, do the sluice gates work on a level below them too? I don't think they do. Right? So I think it's just measuring the, the system in front of it. So if I were to put a sluice gate right here, and I click this button, downstream depth is 0.1, uh, 0.5, because, no. Yeah, no. Oh, this is so complicated. My brain, my brain can't comprehend. Okay, we did something productive. Okay, we got the, we got our mega farm in, and that's that's a good thing. I think I'm gonna plant some more pine trees just because we need trees or logs sooner rather than later, please. Go ahead and do that. Oh, we've got the time. Pull this up to 1.5 because we need a lot more water in here. That's in. That's good. That's moving this way. That's even better. That should fill up in this last half of the day, hopefully. Hopefully. I should have had that closed a lot sooner than that. That's on me. I didn't realize that that was there. Or that that was happening. You guys can't reach any of that because it's too high. Um, you guys can come grab that log. Grab. Oh shit. Mm. Oh poopy. That's not how that was supposed to go. Metal blocks and tree to planks are coming in though, so that's. Good. We have 200. We have 600 of those. And 208. So, did you guys build this yet? No. You haven't built any of this yet. Well, you haven't had any logs to play with because I keep telling you to build super massive structures like this. All right. Bad tide in a couple seconds here. We'll just reposition. And then we will... Slam that shut right now. Come over here. Absolutely make sure that nothing bad's happening. This is good because we can get that last little bit of water on this side that we can't on the other side. So we can fill this up just a smidge bit more, which is which is exciting. Uh, 
<laughs> me... Um, okay, you guys don't need to be there right now. No more power. Okay. Hmm. I would really like to continue building this, to continue playing with this, but I need I need the lumber in order to do so. And I don't have it. I need to wait for all this to grow up and pop so I can pull it in. That's all gonna take a hot minute. That's not gonna happen anytime soon because we're out of planks and logs. This will pop here in about six days, so that'll be a source of lumber. If I really, really, really need to get into lumber, I could come over here for some of this. Don't want to, because this is a source of food now. We finally have maple syrup coming in. Good. So that's filling up with maple syrup. This has a little bit in it as well. Probably need to throw in an additional tapper shack because this guy doesn't seem to be able to cover down enough of this area by himself. So I might tear out a little bit. Let them come in here um, on this side and have another tapper shack here. This, that'll be a good idea. I think I will do that. Yeah, I might as well do that now. Do it now or forever hold my peace. That goes like that, and then we mark this one for cutting. Oh, that already is marked for cutting. Oh, let's not have all that marked, please. Thank you. <laughs> That's what smart people do, especially if they're about to throw in a uh, uh, a body to actually tear that stuff out. I don't have a place to put anybody in there, though, to actually reach that. I don't think that you reach that far. You don't. Um, well, here. Yes, demolish the path. That's fine. We'll put this in right there. You guys can come build this real quick. Did I ever unpause this other work? Builder's hut? No, I did not. Because we've been cycling through all of our bivers. We have so many injured bivers. That's not good. That's unconnected. That's standard. That's expected. Lacks materials. Everybody's lacking in flaw. A uh, little that logs. Uh, that's no fun. You guys have almost finished that out. You guys aren't working on that because I told you not to. This is slowly going in. But not really anymore because everything's waiting on logs. I'm going to lower the priority on all this because I don't have the lumber to actually accomplish that. This needs to get over here and get accomplished sooner rather than later. That's just waiting on 20 logs. We're waiting on a lot of things. Pull this down to one because that's unnecessary. These guys are still planting all those. That's got about 15 days left for any of that to go in. You're already done with that, so that's good. That was a nice little burst of... Or a nice little boost of offs for all the things i need tapper shack in here and then i need to re-establish this pathway for all those things to happen you guys are swimming having a good old time grand old time you'll love to see it all these trees are finally reaching maturity popping and they're getting destroyed so that's good we can reclaim a portion of this piece of real estate that'll be even better for food Pyramid and production. You love to see it. I just now realized that we have an 18 day. Well, we have 18 days left of this bad tide. Yo, that's cool. I didn't realize that you guys were over here building all this. So that's where all the planks have been going to, but that's fine. We've got 219 metal blocks and a bunch of planks available to us. That's that's not a problem. I think I am gonna need to continue this along just a tid tidbit. Uh that way to facilitate that production and once that gets well, that'll be a nice boost in lumber for us they finally got that guy in there so that's cool once they pump enough of this out that'll be a lot of lumber that we can gain access to right there and i don't care to reach over there we can get up here that's a lot of oak that we can snag since we're kind of shy in the lumber department 
until all of this starts popping in. All of those trees are growing now, so if we need to, we can tear into that. That's only two pieces of lumber each. Building needs water. Thank you. Close that up. Yeah, we'll continue playing with this uh, double floodgate until we can get everything situated. But our super mega tree farm is slowly coming in. You love to see it. That needs logs to finalize. Um, you are sat in your bum because all of that is slowly taking its time to get accomplished. I do need to set you to a pain. And same for this side. Otherwise, you guys aren't going to get food or water here, which would be sad because that means you have to run halfway across the world in order to actually acquire some of any and all of that. Well, that stinks, and we don't like that, okay? Cool. Cool story, bro. Oh, Seven God. injured beavers. I need you guys to stop hurting yourselves, please. I think we can put this in now. I have the science. That's 17,000 units of science. Yeah, I've got the science. Okay. Boom. Priority. Numero uno. And that'll be great. I think that's where we'll finish the episode. As soon as that gets built. That's all you guys gotta do. Everything should be right here. All of the metal blocks... Well, minus 40 something, 49. We have all the gears that we need. Minus 200, but that will come across here. We'll get the gears in here as well. That should work. We've got all of the haulers going to be doing the things that we're going to add to the hauling. That would be great. You guys can pause there as well. That'll add a few more positions. Fine. That's fine. That's really, really fine. You could pause for now since nothing's getting actually taken care of on this side. You're still planting down here, right? Yeah, you're still planting. Why aren't you finished yet? You can get paused. You're not helping with anything. All right, go haul things. Do the things. Just need gears. We need we need all the things. That's all you guys got to do. Get it in. There we go. We'll have the bad water rig. It'll be great. It'll be the greatest thing since sliced freaking bread. We'll have bad water all the time. On top of that, we've got lumber all the time. We've got this not getting accomplished. Give me that. I just have to rescue the... Actually, you know what? Get it! I don't care. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yep. Levy. Like so. And then, boom, boom, boom. There's stop. Then we can run that way. We can run that way. We'll have access to all this. And we can start working our way up here. It'll be great. Beautiful. Beautimus, beautimus, beautimus. Is this done? Are we done? How close are we to being done? Need a bunch of gears. Need all the treated planks that are slowly going in. That's getting done. I love to see it. Do we have this turned on yet? No, we do not. Pause. Those three. Maybe we can pause that guy too. Look at it go. Look at it freaking go got all the builders all the haulers they're they're doing amazing things you guys don't need to be working there either go being productive elsewhere i believe in you so many pause things nothing to do with in range you've been sat on your bum with nothing to do in your in the range there but hmm hmm fine don't worry about it 400 beavers, that's okay. That's in. We can actually start working that way across the way. That'd be great. This is going in. 
we're already we've already got all the treated planks in that means we can just that 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 we've got all the metal blocks in right yes all the metal blocks are in we're just waiting on gears we have 106 more gears to go 106 and we're done now we just gotta wait for them to smack it a little bit so we hey, got we got double. tk got up to tk down here doing amazing things he's banging on the thing he's going at it he's going to him look at him go look at this little beaver going he's standing over the poop water he has no fear he is going to create the greatest piece of beaver architecture or not that's not the word uh, beaver ingenuity ever just gonna go at it just go go little dude go i believe in you you're doing great you're doing great my guy last little bit last 15 percent okay i believe in you oh he finished he didn't even finish it come on tk you had it you're doing so good my guy like no nah, i'm done 16 hour work day i'm done i'm going home yeah, that sounds that's that that sounds better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Happy TK is like, okay, I'm done. Bye, Felicia. Okay, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it, TK. I get it. Okay. Alright. Now are we can you guys come up here and finish it now? Came up here thirsty and hungry, Yuki. What do you think was gonna happen there? You didn't even eat. You didn't eat breakfast. You didn't get any water. You know. All right, who we got now? We got TK. TK's gonna finish it for us. Come on, TK. Come on, let's go. Come on, my dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Smack it. Smack it harder. Go, TK. Go. Go, TK. Go, TK. Go. TK, go. Go, TK. Yo. No. There it goes. Beautiful. Sweet. That's in. We've got sluice gates in. We've got this. this oh, we got sluice gates in over here. I need to figure out. I probably need to watch a bunch of YouTube videos on how to, how these are supposed to work. So I don't have to continue banging my head against the wall. Because I don't understand how this all works. But we're down here. We got sluice gates in. We're just waiting on all the lumber. We got this accomplished, which is actually fantastic. This is slowly going in, so I could probably expand our our production, our wood production. All of our trees are in. These have all popped up, so we can actually take advantage of that. That guy doesn't need to be there right now, but that's fine. We're doing wonderful things. We're doing fantastic things. I'm very happy to see all the things get our reach maturity fruition we're seeing good things come from all of our terrible decisions in the end so i can't play too much about that yet we're recl reclaiming some real estate here we could probably reclaim all this real estate as well and yeah i'm loving it so many green pockets of just glorious and amazing things just need to take advantage of all of it and probably increase our power supply. Bad water's coming in at a record pace for forever now because we do have that running, so that, that'll be great. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. I've been yapping for way too long at this point. I do appreciate you all sticking around for this long, and I hope you enjoyed the chaos. And see, it's sluice gates and me trying to bang my head against the wall and try to figure out how to do sluice gates today. They're complicated, and my brain doesn't go burr appropriately. But it's okay. We'll figure it out. One way or the other. I'm going to find it. I'm going to get you. Get you. Get you. Get you. And I'm going to get out of here. I'm out. Have a wonderful time. Remember, guys. Keep yourselves nice and hydrated. Make sure that your beaver is nice and hydrated as well. And remember, stay thirsty, my friends. See ya. Oh, no, Kimmy. How does... How does a train avoid detection? Does it go... Uh... How, do, how would a train avoid detection? It can help.
Kana.